2018 was a year to remember for the UNBC Timberwolves. Women's basketball made school history becoming the first squad to earn consecutive Canada West playoffs led by Vasiliki Luka, Maria Mongomo and Madison Landry, the highest scoring trio in the entire country. After the season, Luka was named a Canada West All-Star. The men's basketball team made some history of their own February 8th, becoming the first T-Wolves program to win a playoff game since the move to the U Sports level. In the final minutes, it was the team first approach and the defense that made the difference for Todd Jordan's squad. The fourth annual Timberwolves Legacy Breakfast was held February 19th at the Northern Sports Centre with keynote speaker Michael Landsberg. The legendary Canadian sportscaster shared his story of mental health, making for a memorable and impactful morning. The fifth annual Legacy Breakfast is set for March 6, 2019 with Olympic gold medalist Jennifer Jones. And remember, all funds raised go directly to scholarships and bursaries for the student-athletes. A record 21 Timberwolves were named academic All-Canadians for their performance in the classroom with GPAs of 3.67 or higher. All four varsity teams had collected GPAs over 3.0 and it was the women's basketball team topping the list with a team grade point average of 3.34. The T-Wolves have a new home for soccer matches, officially opening up play at the newly renovated Massage Place. The first goal there, and forever the answer to a trivia question. Owen Stewart! Fittingly, Prince George's own Owen Stewart. The men's soccer team had its best season ever, setting new marks for wins, goals, and points, including a 4-1-3 record on home field. Center back Gordon Hall became the first T-Wolf to be named a first-team conference All-Star and the first to earn All-Star status in three seasons. At the season's conclusion, Francesco Bartolillo broke new ground for UNBC. In the same season he broke the school's goal-scoring record, he became the first Timberwolf to earn a national honour as he won the U Sports Student Athlete Community Service Award. Women's soccer put together the best season in program history as well, setting new marks for goals, wins, and points. Led by new single-season goals and points record holder Paige Payne, the T-Wolves needed some magic in the final half of their regular season finale. And they got it off the foot of Sophia Jones, earning their second straight playoff berth. That's where this team would make more history, topping Manitoba on penalty kicks for the first Canada West playoff win in UNBC soccer history. The T-Wolves will be traveling in style from now on as the new UNBC Timberwolves bus was unveiled in fall of 2018. Keep your eyes peeled for the golden green machine out on the road. Like every year, the Timberwolves bid farewell to graduating athletes from all four teams, record holders, all-stars, academic all-Canadians, and more than 700 combined games in a UNBC jersey. Programs are built on shoulders like theirs, and these 16 will forever be Timberwolves. As 2018 came to a close, both our men's and women's basketball teams are sitting with their best starts in program history with a big second half coming up. On behalf of all the student athletes, coaches and staff of the Timberwolves, thank you for supporting the finest year in UNBC athletics history. The best is yet to come. Go T-Wolves.